Okay, we are good to go. So, howdy everyone. Um, I have not made a video in some time. Um, I just thought it would be nice to kind of jump back into some game programming. Um, not exactly a bona fide uh, streamer or anything, so excuse me. But I, I just kind of like tossing together games that are fun and somewhat easy to make. Not that I don't like challenge, but I thought it would be simple to just kind of throw together maybe a little JavaScript game like Asteroids, but um, you know, in JavaScript. And there's some mechanics there we need to think through. Pretty sure these asteroids like splinter apart and stuff, which would be fun to kind of figure out. But um, I think we might be able to get away at least at first uh, with maybe there's a couple different implementation choices. Um, also, excuse me, I might be coming back here to OBS just to make sure everything is golden. I hope the audio is okay. Um, but yeah, you know, we could very much just get some JPEG. PNG images of uh, asteroids and like um, a spaceship and stuff and use that instead or we could use um, it's still kind of early so my brain might be scattered but uh, we could use the uh, canvas API um, to draw out these shapes instead but oh no uh, here we are Which is fine, we can use either. I think it might be easier to just PNG this. Um, so, yeah, kind of the point of making this stuff, I guess, is to demonstrate that you can. It's it's actually not too hard. Um, so I have a basic, like, HTML set up here. Um, we have a little index.js file, which I'll be dumping everything into. I always have to look up, uh, how to link this uh, CSS file. Yes, yes, okay, um, right. The rel style sheet. You know, I'll type this a thousand times and still forget. But yeah, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people when it comes to programming, they'll um, get a little ahead of themselves, which of course I do too, you know, happens to the best of us. Um, But at the end of the day, you know, it's all about just trying to think through little problems, trying to get um, something together, you know. Um, yeah, it does take some thought, but it's not necessarily the most complicated thing in the world. Like, it also takes thought to put together, like, a Lego set. I know there's instructions, but if someone handed you a box of Legos, you know, you might be intuitively able to build a little, a little uh, sail ship or like, you know, a little car or something. In any case, um, you shouldn't stress yourself out too hard when you program, is my point. All right, we have nothing in the CSS file. We have nothing, nada, nada. Uh, really, what I want to do is, I think we just call it main, right? Or root, I uh, mean. Call this root instead. Can you guys see this? I hope. Um, there we go. Maybe that's better for all of you. Uh, yeah, whatever. The terminal's the terminal. You'll see it or you won't. Okay. So, all we're doing here, this is a very base bones NPM, <laughs> NPM directory. I don't even know if I will use any packages. This might just all be vanilla, um, which is fine. I also might get into uh, some Godot here. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna... No, I was gonna go close my door. Um, my wife is taking some training in the other room, so I don't wanna bug her. But um, 
want some more coffee too. So maybe here in a sec, I'll go grab that. Okay. Um, so for an asteroid style game, what do we need? Um, let's see, do I downshift? Does this show me? How fun, hi everyone. Um, so for an asteroids game, what do we need, right? We need a few things. We need, um, first and foremost, a black background to kind of demonstrate we're in space. We need to be able to create, um, render and move asteroids about the screen. And that should be relatively simple. Um, we don't have to worry much about collision outside of like an asteroid hitting the player, right? These asteroids are going to be different sizes. Uh, we don't have to worry about screen collision. I imagine once it exits the screen, kind of the full display width, uh, we'll just de-render it. Um, or maybe it'll just loop back around or I don't know, you know, it might probably adds more diversity and um, just more randomness to just spawn something new. However, that mechanic might work. Um, asteroids need, need to be a different size. The player needs to be able to rotate and move around. Now, there is some funniness with how asteroid work, uh, asteroids work, um, like control-wise. Um, I haven't played Asteroid in a while. Um, I got one of those Anbernix, um, one of these guys, uh, what was it, the 35XX, and I got this for like 20 bucks. Um, 30 uh, relatively cheap um but it has asteroids on here and i noticed as i was playing it was more of this kind of like slide around than like a player stepping right so it needs to be more of a smooth smooth transition as we um point around oh i'm not even showing my screen here <laughs> uh one of these guys so i was like typing this up and showing it yeah so one of these guys, and uh, the movement of asteroids is, or the movement of the player in asteroids is more of um, what you might expect from a spaceship. You're kind of, it's real smooth movement. Um, what's the word? More of a strafe than like a sidestep. So they'll also need 360 rotation, and we need to be able to uh, shoot projectiles. So the only collision we might need is does an asteroid hit the player and does a projectile hit an asteroid so there's minor limitations um to this so hopefully it's not too hard to program although um i'm not going off like a tutorial or anything which is what you should do if you're uh, somewhat new to programming and you've made some stuff through a couple uh, tutorials, you should just try and like bash your head against something and try and make it. Um, all right, background color. Let's not do black. Let's do like um, a nice, almost black. This is like a pretty dark gray. No. Okay, there we go. Um. We don't need a server at this moment, so I should just be able to um, launch the index file here and it should pop up. Oh, no, sure, maybe not. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. There is no content, so it's not going to show anything. So that means we need to force width uh, or force height. So height 100% uh, or 100 view height and then width 100 view width. I hope this keyboard isn't too annoying. I can always swap it out. I just, I'm no professional when it comes to streaming or anything else. So. Um, we're all good though, right? You guys can see me, all right, cool. Um, so, <clears throat> let's see if that does it. We just force the heights. 
No, it doesn't. I'm not exactly a CSS pro either. That's interesting. No CSS properties found. Oh, you know what? Uh, we changed this to root, no wonder. Really? Interesting. Oh, yeah, we might wanna rename this, index. There we go. Oh. Yeah, that's a bit much, huh? Well, I don't know if 100% does it because I think that's, uh, I'm no CSS expert, but it, um, it's 100% of like a parent property, if I remember right. So maybe we just need to set height. There we go. And then uh, overflow Y hidden. Get back to that. Um, that color is too light. So let's do more of a. Oh, I kind of like. I almost kind of like some of that purple in there for like a night sky. Okay. All right. So, what do we need? How do I even do this? Um, I guess we'll just manipulate a bunch of a, <laughs> a bunch of images. Um, I would imagine. So. Let's see, I could think of how to do this in React, but I'm like purposefully trying not to. I think I've depended too much on React and I just need to kind of strip away from some of that and just write some stuff in, um, in here. So we'll have, um, let's get first and foremost, the easiest thing, um, our player character. So we need, uh, Spaceship open source. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe we should just draw this. Uh, do I have? Of course I don't. For some reason I have Blender, <laughs> but I don't have uh, any image software. Okay. Well. Um, I'm gonna, I guess, download this and start drawing some stuff and um, flat packs. Um, I'll install this and get back to you and then I guess we can just draw some like, you know, some um, poorly drawn uh, sprites. So, uh, be right back. Okie doke. All right, should be back. Um, yep. Okay. So I'm getting it. The 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 reason I was thinking of just using images, but um, I need alpha transparency. So I guess I don't. I, d I don't need it, but I'd like not just little uh, rectangles and squares on the screen, so. And we would be image hunting for some time. Um, okay. I like never use flat packs. I always use the terminal, so it's always a bit odd when. Um, that's like an Ubuntu thing. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. All right, um, I don't know. What should these be? I'm gonna do like, <clears throat> maybe a hundred by a hundred. All right, 
I really don't know how to use uh, GIMP. I just laugh a little when I say it. Um, fill with transparency. All right, awesome. I'll delete that. And then I want a little spaceship. So we are going to do white. And then if I want as much hardness as possible. Uh, size actually should be what, maybe 10 pixels. There we go. This is fine. I think, um, <laughs> I guess we can uh, try and line this up a little bit. Um, I think the original design for asteroids definitely had like this V shape thing going on. Um, yeah. There we go. That works, I, th <laughs> I think. Programmer art. Okay, let's export to our directory here. Um, we'll say public <clears throat> ship.png. Amazing. Hopefully this brings in the transparency we want. All right. Um, public ship.png. All right, that should now appear Oh, okay. So do we need like a relative path? There we go. Ooh, <laughs> that might be a little big. Maybe we should reduce the 50 pixels. Um, I know I can resize it in HTML, but I almost would just rather, ooh, maybe 25 is the way to go. No, maybe 50 is the way to go. And then we can downscale or upscale to 50. Um, which I think it's fine for me. So let's decrease this to five. I really wanted to do more programming and less art. I'm not much of an artist. Like, well, I kind of am, but not much of a, like, digital artist. Okay. Let's uh, export and overwrite. Replace. All right. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Well, you know, what the first thing we can do is maybe implement some basic um, controls here. So do uh, const, um, oh, the music's not going, there we go. Um, user input handler. Okay, um, okay. So say, uh, Document dot on key down. Okay, so allegedly if So I'm firing off. How do we set up um on key down listener? I don't know why well, I can't remember that, but here we are, you know, key down event. Yeah.
I thought it was like document dot. Um, maybe we do have to, because like on click and stuff is a pretty natural um, common handler. But maybe here we need like this thing to set up. The actual like add event listener. Oh, key down. Okay. Key down. I do this all the time at my job, but. Uh, user. User input handler. Yeah, sure. Hopefully that's, uh, that's it. Is not. Oh, we don't even link um, the script either. Is that how you set up a script tag? I'm pretty sure. I've always disliked HTML. Um, it's just boring to write in. Yeah, let it, I'll type text JavaScript. I don't think we need this anymore. I really hate W3 schools too. Okay. MDN's where it's at. Yep, source my script.js, yeah. Okay. Maybe we should. Well, at the bottom should be fine too. Um, and just to ensure this fires off, console.log script. Sure. Typo. Typo be damned. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. It is not. Missing here. Why is it all funny? It's like for some reason. Oh, bizarre. Okay, right. I the forward slashes. Most of my time nowadays is spent in Python land. Um, I do some JavaScript, but you know, I've worked with <clears throat> C Sharp, Java, Kotlin, C, C++, Golang, um, Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, so on. But nowadays it's mostly Python. Okay. So, excuse uh, kind of the slow implementation here. Yep. So why does that, oh, okay, it fires off. And now we're getting the event listeners. Um, you might not be able to see it, but it is firing off repeatedly. Okay, awesome. So, um, const user equals document dot get element by ID. Let's go ahead and give this guy an ID. Um, ID equals user. There we go. And then we'll say um, e dot, how do we get the key from a key down event? Oops. Dot code. Okay. There we go. Is that it? 
Now we can see what code is being pressed. Key S, key D. Okay. That works for me. I don't know if we'll... I don't know how to normalize stuff. What I mean by that is kind of normalizing the velocity and so on and so forth. We'll figure it out. Okay, so... Uh, key press. Equals e dot code. Oh, what was that big red? Uh -huh. So maybe just key. reason I'm setting up separate functions here is because I think possibly um, it will be easier to manage these kind of like rotations and movements. Um, I think it is like a rotate and then move. So less strafing is maybe I thought. I think you rotate and then you can move forward or back. This would probably be easier to make in Unity or Godot or something, but because they have all that stuff kind of built in. Um, move forward. Let's move back. Okay, so switch. Maybe we can just do a switch on uh, e dot key. How does um JS switch case? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, case <clears throat> um, S W. Let's do that. Uh, forward. Backwards. Oh. That makes me feel better. Okay. Case D move or uh, rotate right. Case A uh, rotate. Default. Do we even need a default? Um, oh, we need breaks and stuff. So, like in Python's new like match case system or syntax, I guess. Back break. You don't necessarily need the default cases, which can be nice. Um, in my experience, I have not always had to actually handle default cases. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Um, amazing. So, user dot js rotate image.
transforms. Okay, yeah, CSS. That totally makes sense. Oh. Oh, needed a good stretch. Uh, what's OBS doing? Fine. How long is this? Half an hour. Man, I was watching, um, what's this dude? You guys see my YouTube homepage, it's a mess. Oh yeah, this guy. Everybody. Go check out, um, yeah, Tokyo Spliff. <laughs> this guy threw like seven hour streams of him coding some like really insane OpenGL Vulcan, like NVIDIA Vulcan stuff, all in C++. It's a lot of fun. Reminds me of my um, crappy little Thomas the Game Engine I was making a few months back. Okay. It sounded really like stuffy in those videos for some reason. So it goes. Okay. So. This form. And what were they using? <laughs> um, oh, it's like a, a rotate. Okay. I think what I also want here is, you notice how none of this is OOP? That's fine. <laughs> like, you don't always have to force object-oriented programming. Nor do you have to be like pure functional, no side effects, no mutation kind of stuff. You know, I, dogma is fine sometimes, but not always. Um, okay get rotation transform uh, equals we'll say what, the angle of rotation or the degrees degrees of rotation and then I do vastly prefer um, JavaScript nowadays Weirdly enough, um, it's a lot of a lot of fun for me. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Equals get rotation by transform, and we'll say I don't know five degrees. We'll see how that works. Um, and I'm thinking that's five degrees that way, so um, negative five, we'll test that out. Was I talking about something? I don't know. Um, okay, console.log, d, oh, uh, pff, what am I doing? E dot key. Let's do something dramatic, like, yeah, 90 degrees. Are we not? Oh. Right. So I think I got those mixed up. Should see a transform property in here. Transform nada. So what am I doing wrong here? <clears throat> oh, turn modulus 360. Gotcha. Okay. So what am I doing? Uh, I can't alt tap to the right window. So it should be. Um, degrees of rotation here, modulus 
360. Um, so if I were to console log that, it should tell me, tell me what's what. Yeah, that looks funky. Okay, so it's our string that, yeah, because we're using like, are you, how old is this answer? I should look at that. Old, six years old, six and a half years old. It's actually a few months after I got my first programming gig. So, <laughs> Sorry, uh, reading this, actually, like, reading the code, they're making a little fan that goes <laughs> back and forth on a timer. That's kind of fun. All right. Um, sometimes I just kind of look for the line I'm trying to look for and ignore the rest. But, yeah, they're using, like, the old formatted version of um, JS strings when... Right, okay. So this should encapsulate that. There we go. And that should give us the correct string. Rotate 90 degrees. Nope. Need this parenthesis after. Yes, okay. There we go. <laughs> it turns. It doesn't rotate. Um, you know what I think? Do we need to like be additive about this? <laughs> My brain is pretty slow today, but do we need to like add on to the rotation? Like instead of just, I guess we can do that without getting too complex. Um, Properties, um, say rotation equals zero. Oh no, it's rotation zero. shoving more stuff in here okay so rotation zero so maybe this does need to be more of an actual function where we not only no it should be handled in here we uh get the rotation transform. So const rotation transform. I've been typing in snake case for so long, camel case is foreign to me. Um, rotation. Uh, 
and then we'll say uh, user properties dot rotation plus equal to one or plus equal to rotation transform plus one. No, no, okay, here. I'm not thinking things through properly. Plus equals one, and then we'll probably have like a rate of ro rotation equals one. Oh, one. So plus equals rate of rotation, and then we'll say user properties dot rotation as the transform. rotation is not defined. Oh, user properties dot rate of rotation. There we go. And there is our rotation. That's pretty slow. So let's, uh, yeah, let's change it to, I don't know, five. It's not instant. There's like a delay. Okay, well. Okay. Uh, JS move image. Do 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 do. Oh. So just manipulating left and top. Um. So it left. Oh, okay. So kind of like an X Y. All right. Left. Um. Top. Say, uh. Const user init, and we'll say um, user dot style dot left equals user properties dot left style dot right equals user properties properties dot oh top. Okay, that's fine. Left being our X and top being our Y. This that works. And this um, user init should be called. Oh, we should just toss this um, here too. And then. Uh, 
Okay. And we'll call user CSS top property. Sometimes Stack Overflow is just not helpful. Yep, PX. Okay. So. And then I think um, get left. too hard. <clears throat> Const get left position. We'll say um, const pos equals left dot splits on px. That should be the zero. Um, return That left position um, additive Wait, where let's use an update because I want it to be additive additive position um, const left equals get left position um, left plus equals we'd be one lining this uh, user properties dot left equals same for the right position. <clears throat> position. Yeah. What's up? I can't. Do we need position absolute? Um, I usually work with a uh, flex box. So 
so I wouldn't know about position absolute. Yeah, there we go. Okay, sure. I'm not designing a website, I'm making the game, so it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Um, let's see if we can't move this around, and then I might end the video for now. Um, what are we, like 45 minutes in? 50? Okay, let's see if we can make a move. So this will be our move forward, excuse me, move forward and move backwards. Um, you, you know what this, uh, might want to move those to ifs, just if, 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 instead of a switch case that might get rid of some of the funniness around movement. Okay, uh, whatever. For now, I just want to uh, so we need a um, rate of movement. Let's also set that to five. And that will be our Yeah, that'll be our update. So, okay, I'm about the point where I want to split this right. There we go. Okay. So, if we're moving forward, we need to um, update top position um, and our additive value is user dot or user properties dot uh, rate of movement. Oh, that's actually pretty easy. Hopefully, in famous last words. position might not be needed so rotate then move rotate then move kind of like a tank I guess is how I want to think of it it's thinking of like strafing and all these other words but it's more or less a tank we have like a turret that moves nope okay we're spitting out errors get right position <laughs> okay that's on me get right position, no, get top position. Oh, user properties dot top. Need to do the same for left. properties.top oh oh <laughs> this is where a game engine would be amazing um i was thinking of this in terms of velocity i wasn't thinking of this in terms of positioning and what that means is instead of calculating the left and top, the x, y, to move in a given direction, um, uh, I want to just be able to say, push this forward. Um, Oh, yeah. 
I mean, even then, like, is it, it should be moving it up? Oh, wow, okay, that is not the calculation we want. We wanna be adding five. Shouldn't that be a number? Oh, you know what? How do I cast to a number? In, in Python, I would just wrap it with the integer. Um, ds string to int. Because I know there's a two string, but I don't know if there's a string to end. Just number. Or parse int. Ah. Parse int. There we go. I hope you all know what I'm doing with the split. I don't know, like, the level of programming at which people are watching this. But um, split more or less splits the string at, like, a given value. And I'm hoping... It actually does split here. I wonder, I, I bet you we can just access it here in the console. Yeah, dude, I I know what I'm doing. It's like, all right. Yeah, see, so we get an array, um, and it's the first value of that array, so I know it's 100. Although it doesn't look like it was actually setting anything. Great. Um, so we need to do parse int here too. Oh, and then we need to set the um, user dot style dot top equals user properties dot top. There we go. And same for left. Okay, it's the opposite. Um, which makes sense because zero is topmost, so we need to be um, doing some subtraction. Um, so. Minus. There we go. Still goes up, but that's fine. And down goes down, so. We can't do both at the same time, but. And we can't go sideways. Not very good with uh, some of the mathematics here, but that's fine. Oh, another collision we'll have to handle is like the player maintaining his bounds. I noticed in the original Android they did, or Android Asteroids, they didn't do that. So sometimes your player would go off screen, um, or maybe that was just on the version I was on. Anyway, um, this is the beginning of something, so I'll take it. Um, I think I'll end it here. Um, I'm going to have to think about how best to handle that rotation. It would almost have been better to just like <clears throat> not deal with the rotation and just let the player move left, right, up or down, but then we would still have to calculate the diagonals, which again is kind of why I wish we had like a rigid body velocity or something like you would get out of, um, the game engine. Oh well, I'll think about it. See ya.